Hi guys and welcome to this video. HitFilm Pro 2017 just came out and I am so excited. Here are some of the new features that came out. So for those who are new to HitFilm, click on the link to this video which is soon to come out and I'm hoping to do a review on HitFilm Pro 2017 uh, for those who are just completely new to HitFilm um, and want to decide whether to get HitFilm Pro 2017 as an editing application. Also, I will come out with a basic HitFilm Pro 2017 tutorial, so click on the link there um, in order to watch that as well. So, in this new update which HitFilm was claiming is their biggest update ever, HitFilm is adding a bunch of things, such as 8K video compatibility, which is great if you have an 8K camera, um, which I don't and most people don't, but 8K video compatibility is great, as well as Cineform and ProRes compatibility uh, for Windows and OS X respectively. Now you've also got 32-bit color depth support, which pretty much means that if you shoot in 32-bit color, you can edit your colors with much higher quality. If you want to see more about what that really means, just go click on the link. They've also added 360 degree video with 360 text and transform tools, uh, which means that you can edit 360 video now in HitFilm, which is pretty cool. Now they've got a new audio sync feature, which is really, really cool. Pretty much what it'll do is it'll sync your video and your audio, and it'll put them together into one video file, um, and it'll do it really well so you don't have to manually sync every single shot. Now in the editing timeline, they've also added new J and L cuts, which makes it much easier to edit. They've also added a second monitor preview, so normally you'd have one monitor which does all of your stuff. Now you're able to connect a second monitor, but in that second monitor you're able to have just a preview of the viewer. So you can pretty much have a large full screen viewer uh, on your second monitor. Uh, additionally, they've added more keyboard shortcuts uh, for J and L cuts and for all sorts of different things um, inside HitFilm. They've now improved their Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas integrations, so you can send clips in between Sony Vegas 14, I think it is, um, and vice versa and things like that, which makes it much better if you're using Sony Vegas. Obviously, I don't use that. Now, they've also added a really cool uh, advanced audio editor, which has six tracks in them, um, and also a master track, so you can really, um, really nail your audio um, and your audio mixing. In the new hit film, they've got over 500 different effects and presets. Um, and these include new energy and fluid distortion ones, um, which are pretty cool. Um, not sure how I would use them, really, with the work that I'm doing, but it is, it is pretty cool to see. You've also got some new lightsaber effects um, and a neon path effect for glowing paths in text, um, which is pretty cool, similar to the, the lightsaber ones. You've also got a three-way color corrector now um, with color wheels, just like uh, you'd find in Premiere. As well as this, HitFilm Pro 2017 uh, has over 1,000 presets, which is pretty cool. They've also got an updated version of Mocha in there. They've also got updated 2D tracking, um, which you can track objects that go out of frame a little bit um, and over long distances. Now one of the big things that they've added is advanced color scopes. So they've added a vector scope, a waveform viewer, a parade viewer, and a histogram, um, which will really, really help um, with analyzing the colors in your video um, and correcting and grading them really well. You can even put those color scopes um, directly into your footage and export them. So uh, that's really cool if you're doing some sort of educational thing about grading or something. Now they've also got a new Ignite Pro, um, which has over 150 effects. Of course, it varies between which programs you use it with. Now they've also got the new Boris 3D objects, um, which is in HitFilm, uh, which is mainly used for 3D text. Now they've also got a, a longer RAM preview, um, which uses up all of your RAM rather than just uh, a certain amount, like it did before. HitFilm now has better 3D load times and can now import uh, Autodesk Filmbox files. Um, and this is really good for importing your models or even animation. You can also use 3D models as depth maps in, in HitFilm, which is pretty cool. Now in HitFilm Pro 2017, they've also added um, all these searches, so in a composite shot you can say search for the different layers if you have loads of different layers in there, um, you can search for different layers, which is pretty cool now. Now finally, which is one of the coolest things about this uh, version of HitFilm, is that they've added an export queue um, so now, instead of just clicking export and then having to redo it and hit, hit export again, um, you can use the export queue to export multiple tasks one after another, um, uh, which is really great if you have a lot of different composite shots to be exporting 
um, and all of those different things, which is really, really handy. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all the new features um, in HitFilm Pro 2017. Now, HitFilm Express 2017 um, will be coming out sometime next year. So not in 2016, but as the name says, in 2017. Why did uh, HitFilm choose to go with the name HitFilm Pro 2017 instead of HitFilm 5 Pro? I have no idea. Um, but that's it for today from me, guys. Um, and I'll see you later, hopefully, in those other two videos, uh, which I mentioned at the beginning of the videos. So, stay shiny, and I'll see you later. Bye.